You know, at this time in the evening, I like to light a candle, open a bottle, and call up room service. And ooh, what a dish I've ordered for myself tonight. Ready, steady, look! It's Fern Britain! <laughs> I've dribbled champagne all down. I look like I've pissed myself. I'm Are so you sure sorry. It's champagne? No, seriously, it is. Mm -hmm. How embarrassing. Fern, it's dream come true. I've been trying to get you all serious. How kind of you. It's lovely to be here. Now, the, the only thing that confused me, when I was reading about you, it kept saying, oh, and uh, then, then when uh, Fern uh, at the RSC, uh, you know, in <laughs> RSC, and I think, oh, she was a very classical actress. Yes. And of course, Royal it's Shakespeare Company is actually ready to study cook. cook. Yes. I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah. uh, it sounds good, doesn't it? But my God, you've got you've got lots of um, you've got lots of celebs on now in the celebrity ready steady cook. Yes, we're just doing the series now for the summer, and we've got some lovely, lovely people. But now, top celebs, you have Kate Winslet. Oh yes, do you know she came? To, I was uh, standing in for Judy on Richard and Judy last year. Yes. And Kate Winslet came on the show, and she was lovely. And, blah, blah, blah. and at the end of the interview, I'm I'm total awe of her. She's just about to she was just about to go off to the Oscars, and she said to me, "I'd love to be on your show." And went, Oh, I think I could fix that. <laughs> Give me the number then. Give me your agent's number. And we got it fixed. And my rating in the office went, Phew, of course, you know. I bet it did. Hey, can I, would you come on the next show? Oh, I'd love would to you? come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. I would. Seriously, I'd love to. I would. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Um, now, I'm so impressed by you, Fern, because it strikes me you are sort of the Kate AD of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're in there. You're in there, aren't you? But to, and two chefs. I've worked in restaurants. One is bad enough. God, chefs are... Oh, anyway. But uh, the, 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 Not my lot. They're lovely boys. They are. They're hand-picked and they're wonderful blokes. But, uh, they have occasionally nobbled each other, but they're good blokes. Oh, talk us through that. How, what do you mean you say nobbled? <laughs> well, at the very beginning, I cannot mention any names, obviously. No. At the very beginning of the whole thing, Two chefs were playing the game, and one of them had found where the gas tap and the water tap was to the other person's kitchen. And before the show, turned them off. So we start the programme. We never stop. What you see is real. The 20 minutes cooking, no stopping at all, that's it. And, of course, this other guy couldn't get the gas and the water going. The scene hands were running around, finally found the taps were off, turned them on. And afterwards, the other chef, who obviously I can't mention, Anthony Royal Thompson, admitted <laughs> <laughs> he had been a culprit. God, Loveman, silly lost. I think he won, actually. Did he really? <laughs> the worse it gets, the more they win. And now, you've been quoted as saying that a man who is good in the kitchen is good in bed. <gasps> Have I said that? Apparently, yes. Well, I, I think, think it was all to do with passion. I, it is. It's, uh, well, I do agree with that. People who are very passionate about food are very passionate about feeding people and giving to somebody else, and that's the whole thing. And all our chefs are very passionate blokes. Yes. And girls. It sort of falls apart when you look at Anthony Royal Thompson, though, doesn't it? it just... <laughs> you should see his wife. She is gorgeous. Really? And lovely, yes. Jay, she's lovely. Aww. Yeah. And, well, actually, she must be a saint. <laughs> <laughs>